Hi, it's September 18th, 2013, and I am about to show you my version of an apple crusher and a cider press. There we are. The main crushing body is made of three-quarter inch plywood. I painted on melted uh, beeswax with mineral oil, left it in the sun for three days to warm up and soak in. The handle is made of uh, gas pipe fittings. I've used an old uh, water bottle for the uh, handle. I've uh, covered it with black electrical tape. Nothing fancy. My cylinder is simply uh, an old log. Well, I shouldn't say old. It was a fresh log I picked up. Shaved off the uh, the bark, shaped it as best I could with the hand tools I had. And I used stainless steel screws uh, drilled in on an angle to do the crushing. And I have more stainless steel screws poking out at the bottom you'll see um, under yeah, to the side of the now the stainless steel screws on the top row here I originally had poking out as well um, but they really serve no purpose at all. The apple pieces were simply getting impaled on the ends of the uh, screws. So I backed those out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. But the screws at the bottom help prevent the apple pieces from sliding and sliding in past the cylinder. And for the most part, they seem to work. I think maybe I could screw in a few more, but for now they're working. And we have a side view here. Uh, at the bottom we have a food grade bucket for collecting our crushed apple. At the back I've put a couple of wheels so you can tilt the unit back and wheel it around. The uh, structure is largely made of, uh, what is that, roughly six by one and a half inch uh, softwood lumber, good and solid. And my apples. Oh, lots of apples. Put a simple little handle on the back so when it's tilted you can hold on to the handle and wheel it around. And my arm comes down and the wood at the bottom helps push the... Uh, oh, who we have over here? Oh! My helper! Oh yes! Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's all fun now. Wait till the work starts. And uh, so anyways, you push down the handle and that'll push the apples down below. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't have a, I had no, I did not have a hinge, so I just used a couple of uh, long nails, bent them with some uh, twist tie to keep the uh, that part of the arm down, or lot to allow it to swing. I'm not sure what you call that really. Anyways, the top piece of wood prevents the bottom piece from getting crushed up in the uh, crusher, and uh, the apples will get pushed with the uh, the bottom section. Rather simple, but it works and comes back I just use jack chain to prevent uh, my hinge from getting bent and on to the cider press again we have good solid pieces of um, softwood with bolts or I'm using a brand new two-ton jack bottle nose jack nothing fancy I've used it quite a few times now and it seems to do the job well. Another food grade bucket with uh, many holes drilled in. You'll notice I did not reinforce the bucket. Um, all the pressure is essentially downward. There's no sideward pressure. There's really no need to um, reinforce the bucket. It's sitting in an aluminum uh, tin plate, whatever you call it, with a little hole in the front drips into the bucket. I put wheels on and I'm very thankful I did. At first I wasn't going to but this thing is heavy to lug around. To prevent the uh, bottle nose jack from chewing up my three-quarter inch ply that sits just above the bucket I put in, you know, I didn't show it very well there, but there's uh, some slots there uh, into which I place uh, a sacrificial piece of half-inch plywood that can just be 
taken out and replaced later on because it's getting chewed up by the bottle nose jack. Later on, I actually put a metal plate on the uh, the uh, half inch plywood and it saves the saves chewing up my half inch plywood. But either way, it works well.